I promise from this day forward. I promise from this day forward. To be grateful for our love and our to life. To be grateful for our love and for our life. To be generous with my time. To be generous with my time. With my energy and my affection. My energy and my affection. To be patient with you, with our you. children, and with myself. To fill our life with adventure and our home to with laughter. To fill our life with adventure and our home with laughter. To inspire you to grow as an to individual. To encourage you to grow as an individual. To love you completely. To love you completely. These things, These things I, I pledge, pledge to you. I remember as a kid having a plan for love. I'd find my future husband, he would have dark hair, light eyes, and resemble Prince Eric from The Little Mermaid, and he'd be perfect. We'd fall in love immediately, be engaged by 24, married by 26, and kids by 28. Well, love didn't go according to plan. When I first met you, I saw a beautiful, incredible woman who knew what she wanted. A blonde, six foot tall, blue eyed man <laughs> who lived about 45 minutes away. <laughs> While we did fall in love almost immediately, we were about 10 years behind on my engagement deadline, and we rearranged the order of a few things a bit. You may not be Prince Eric or perfect, but you're as real of a prince as it gets, and you're perfect for me. So, standing here today, I'd say my plan worked out pretty well. I promise to trust in you as my partner and the decisions we make for our future. I promise to forevermore come up with ridiculous nicknames for you, my tater tot, and our little peanut banana wiggle snack pack. Melissa, you are my greatest love, my best friend, my strongest support, and we are about to embark on a lifelong journey together. The promises that I make to you feel more like a privilege because they'll be easy and effortless to uphold. I promise to carry you and to be carried by you should we stumble. I will always be standing ready for a big hug, for tears of happiness, or tears of sadness, or if it's just hug time. <laughs> I promise to travel with you to the edge, to lead or to follow, and use all of our love to light the way. I promise to not do the dishes most of the time because, well, you're not supposed to lie in your vows and I hate doing dishes. But I do promise to always appreciate it when you do them. And to always appreciate the man that you are. A man with more thoughtfulness and true integrity than anyone I've ever known. Who brings out and always sees the best in me. And a man who makes my heart melt because he loves our daughter more than anything in this world. Being a family with you is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I know over the years we may change a little, our lives may change a lot, life will test us and we will test each other. But I promise that we will always make it through and that you'll always have my heart. And that's all that little girl who made plans for love all those years ago could have hoped for. And by the power of your love and the commitment to each other and the power vested in me by the state of Florida, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the girl. <laughs> You're a beautiful redhead and they don't exist. <laughs> and ever since she was my unicorn and we've been prancing along for eight years, <laughs> I wish you the absolute happiness in the world and all of the love. I love you so much and I love you too. I was trying to think of, of long I've known Scott and something that's unique about him is he goes extreme on everything. Any kind of project he's into, Anybody who knows Scott, I'm sure his parents, you know, I don't know if he had like Lego castle cities when he was growing up, but I, I can picture that. I, I, I believe the first time I met Melissa was at the Okeechobee Music Festival. The, the festival theme keeps repeating here. I, 
couldn't have met two people as similar and just as you know you know just as ambitious and adventurers and you guys are amazing that there's a power greater than us guiding us and helping us and I think you two are evidence of that. Come on,